You missed some important news from the LGBTQ plus community this week. To ensure you are current, we are recapping that important news. Here's what you may have missed. See RuPaul like you have never seen her before. In her bedroom, in her bathroom, and in her disco room. Architectural Digest just in time for June Pride Month gives us a glimpse into RuPaul unlike anything we have ever seen before. Haven't you ever wondered if RuPaul has a shoe closet? How about if she can host afternoon disco parties? Well, if the answer is yes to either of those questions, she has to have a beautiful Beverly Hills mansion to do it. And guess what? Now she does. And you finally get to see it. The decorator to homeowner match of Martin Lawrence Ballard and RuPaul Andre Charles seems to be a match made in heaven. RuPaul is a revolutionary performer and queen of drag. Bullard is a mainstay of AD100 and is unapologetic and a unusual eye for beauty. Architectural Digest had unrestricted access to RuPaul and husband George Labar. Uh, Beverly Hills Mansion. RuPaul then set out to decorate a castle fit for a queen. Joke intentional. She said of her choice of her three-decade friend Bullard, quote, We've always loved Martin's aesthetic, so we trusted him. I said, go for it. I can go as far as your imagination will take us, end quote. Architectural Digest editors called the 1980s built residence uninspired. Bullard then transformed the property into a lovely dream of a Hollywood Regency style that combines old-school Beverly Hills combined with the over-the-top personality of the mansion's new owner. Bullard said, quote, This is the House of Rue, a mansion of style designed as the center stage for the world's most famous and celebrated drag queen. It's the ultimate runway for the supermodel of the world. I could not imagine a more appropriate place for the universe's drag mother to hold court." End quote. They worked with architect Christopher Hatch McLean, who modified the existing structure, including the roof, railings, the colonnades, and a host of neoclassical details. There is decorative drama. As sleigh bells start to ring the moment one steps through the front door into an entry hall that Digest editors say has, quote, serious mommy dearest overtones, end quote. Perhaps the most striking room of the House of Rue is a jaw-dropping ballroom crowned with an array of monumental disco balls and covered in photographs of drag and other divas. You may be shocked at what the Rue Castle does not feature, and that's big entertainment. RuPaul said, quote, I entertain on television, not at my house. When you live such a public life, you need boundaries, end quote. We are going to show you Rue's comments touring the mansion for Architectural Digest. He insists by emphasizing his preference for intimate gatherings and small dance parties with close friends is his best choice. Of note to the rainbow color of fans in our LGBTQ plus community, and isn't that really all of us, that RuPaul's favorite color Orange is used throughout the new decorative designs. The home is Beverly Hills, and of course, any discussion about a Beverly Hills home starts in the bedroom, and the bedroom is front and center here. Digest describes the clawfoot daybed sheathed in orange velvet, Joan Crawford worthy. We looked closely, and there was no wire hangers in any of the closets. Billard suggested that the chandelier with draped plaster is Dorothy Draper-esque. Quote, he said, quote, The bedroom is very glam, very romantic, but in a weird way, it still has some masculinity to it. End quote. RuPaul then added, quote, It feels like you're skipping into Bergdorf's, the chicest boutique you could ever dream of. End quote. 
The grounds of the estate were certainly not forgotten. Landscape architect James Hyatt reconceived the garden to underscore the ambiance of the classic Beverly Hills luxury and the neoclassical motifs of the estate. People are already describing the reveal as an extraordinary meeting of the minds that animates the performer's Tinseltown Shangri-La in a word, flawless. RuPaul said about the overall experience, quote, this house is a touchstone to remind me to inspire people to feel the magic that's seemingly so elusive these days. It's meant to be whimsical and fun. None of it is to be taken too seriously, except for love and kindness, end quote. A more detailed story appears in the June edition, the June Pride edition of Architectural Digest. RuPaul herself is going to now give you an intimate and personalized tour of the house that Drag built. <laughs> Hello, AD. I'm RuPaul, and welcome to our crib. Now this is our disco room. We love music, we love to dance. And you know, when I was coming up, there was always a place where it, that said, cocktails, dancing, doesn't happen anymore. So we decided we needed a disco in our house. And this is it. There are 26 disco balls up there. And at the end down there is a uh, Hollywood Regency, Dorothy Draper inspired fireplace. That is one of my favorite things. And of course on the walls, we have many of my favorite disco artists. Some who are not so disco, but they're all beautiful and inspire us to dance and move around. This table here can be moved at any time. It's on wheels. So the idea is to have people over for a little nosh and then move the table out of the way <laughs> and then have a daytime disco right in this very room. I love, love, love this room. I, it may be my favorite, but don't hold me to that. Now this is our kitchen. Again, it's very bold. This is a stove that is made by a French company called La Cagneau. And orange is my favorite color. You're gonna see a lot of orange in this house. I love these lighting fixtures right here because they remind me of those underwater scuba gear from the 19, I don't know, 30s and 40s, but they're just beautiful. I love, love, love the finish on these cabinets and the black and white. You see a lot of that in the house too. The floors are painted and stained in black and white and it just makes me happy. And if you can't be happy in your own home, how the hell are you gonna be happy anywhere else? <laughs> Luck on you! This breakfast nook is so fabulous. So much light, so much life and I tend to gravitate here, you know, because it's right next to the kitchen. I love this wallpaper. And these chairs, these are designed by another really important 30s female designer, Frances Elkins. This light fixture here actually belonged to Yves Saint Laurent in the 1970s. This is such a fabulous room. I mean, there's so many places to have a meal in this house, but the whole house is designed around community. We love game nights. We love playing dirty charades, just like regular charades. You just replace one of the words with a dirty word, like poop, right? Poops, I did it again. You get the picture. This is what we call our dining pavilion. Now, it was inspired by a Elizabeth Taylor film called Boom. A lot of people may not have seen that film, but she used a room similar to this as her card room. Boom was an adaptation of a Tennessee Williams play. I love the stripes. You know, we live in Hollywood. We live in show business. So we're not afraid of texture and color and bold statements, you know, this may not be for everybody, but it's perfect for us. In fact, okay, I'm gonna go on record. This may be my favorite room, but don't hold me to it because we're not finished with the tour. <laughs> 
welcome to my office. It's like living in my own personal Hermes box. There's lots of orange. This is where all my Emmy Awards are. And it reminds me of an office that Joan Collins would enjoy. <laughs> when I was 34, I realized that orange was my favorite color because of the way it makes me feel. So I implore all of you out there watching to find what your favorite color is based on how you feel and live in it. And that's what I do in this office. Love it. Now this is my walk-in men's closet. We took two bedrooms and turned it into my closet. And I've got everything in here. It's, it's kind of like a historical artifact. Every shopping trip I've ever gone on, even Little John's, are, are documented right here in this very room. It's very emotional for me to be in here. Because I went, oh, I remember I wore that on the episode where, or, oh, right, I bought that, this little boutique in France. It is one of my favorite places because I love color and I love clothes. So having this two bedrooms turned into one closet is just perfection. So much storage space, so many textures and colors. It just makes me happy. And listen, if you're gonna be on this planet, why not be happy? Why not live in a place that makes you happy? And that's what this place does. Now this piece in particular is special because it's a sewing box and it was owned by the one and only Anne Margaret, which is pretty special. Now, this centerpiece, this island, is covered in black agatha, which is a Brazilian stone, and it's huge. One piece of black agatha. She sounds familiar. <laughs> I think I know her. <laughs> Now we wanted the back garden area to have space for people and parties and pool and possibly even do shows. You know, if we put a little slab up over the jacuzzi, we could have chairs out here and have a show up there or project a movie up there. It's all about being able to stay in one place and enjoy where we are. Also, if you see at the very top of this hill, there is a structure where you could do yoga or meditate or just welcome the sunshine with a cup of coffee. Really comfortable, not fussy, easy breezy, but it's also pretty decadent. It's very Pompeii. <laughs> Now this here is the office workspace. This is the heartbeat of my operation. I love just the mix between wild energy and then the classics. I love that juxtaposition. What better place to be creative and be inspired than a room filled with leopard print. <laughs> This is our living room, and we've given our decorator, Martin Lawrence Ballard, full reign. Now, Martin was inspired by great lady designers of the 30s and 40s, like Dorothy Draper and Elsie DeWolf. Jewel tones, which I love, so much light coming in here. And of course, you see all of the Hollywood Regency style that is so much fun. You know, there's so much of the modern stuff around LA. We wanted to go more of the classic and that's why this room is so lovely and so beautiful. This house is a working house. You know, I work here in Los Angeles. Los Angeles is a company town. So this house needed to work for me with clothes, entertaining, office space. George and I are very tall, so we needed some place that had tall ceilings, and this fits the bill. This is the epicenter right here. This is the mother load. This is the drag archives. Jewelry, shoes, gowns, you name it. It's all right here. In fact, some things, I'm looking at these cuff bracelets here that I've had since 19, 93 and obviously there are newer things that I just bought last week or that Zaldi who designs all my costumes put together just last week 
It's pretty amazing. It's kind of like a museum, but even better, as I said earlier, this is a working house. So I was in drag last night shooting and, you know, it makes it so easy to just come down here and find exactly what I'm looking for. It couldn't be easier. Now, of course, right next door is the glam room where I get to get in drag and mirrors there, makeup, everything is right there. Jewels in here, shoes, gowns. Look at these chandeliers. Look at these beautiful light fixtures. It makes you want to be as beautiful as they are. So, you know, you come down here and you want to make yourself beautiful. You want to try on everything. You actually want to lick everything. <laughs> but I don't advise that. <laughs> okay, so listen, we've been throughout the whole house. I'm going to say it. This is my favorite room. You know, the, the kid in me has always loved color and shiny and outrageous and texture. That's what makes drag so important. That's what makes drag so much fun to do. For anybody out there who's never done drag, I am telling you now, get yourself in a pair of pumps, wig, some very colorful eye makeup, and wait and see what emerges because there's a superhero in you that is just dying to get out. It's like these jewels where you shine a light on it in a different way and it turns into something completely different. That's what we're doing here. That's what this house is. This house is the manifestation of my drag ideal where it's color and expansive and fun, disco, all the things that make life worth living. You have to find the joy. You have to create the joy. Honestly, the hardest part is focusing on the joy in your life because we all know there are so many awful things that are around. Why not make your home a beautiful, joyous place to live in? Well, thanks for stopping by. You're welcome anytime. Psych. Keep watching the only television news in the world from our LGBTQ plus community and stay informed on everything that is important for and about our diverse LGBTQ plus community.